some sort of sound on in the background. Oh, it's some funky beats. Sorry, that sounded very... I mean, I've just... Uh, this wasn't going to be the intro. I'll be honest with you. I hit record, then all of a sudden I could hear these funky beats. Funky beats. I mean, I sound about 55. Ooh, funky beats. Let's get down to the funky beats. Let's run the intro. <laughs> Right then, folks. Hello. Welcome back to another episode of The Salford Story. If you're enjoying the series so far, drop a like on it. Let's go for a thousand likes if you're enjoying it. Let's hit the targets. Now then, since we last met in the 2-2 draw against Leicester City, uh, congratulations to them, by the way. Well done. League and that. I mean, who, who saw that come in? Three, and I think the three teams to get relegated this year are going to be Sunderland, Leicester, and West Brom. Not me, apparently. So, hmm. Uh, since then, then, a 1-1 against Crystal Palace, a 2-1 defeat to Leon, uh, and two wins against Stoke and Hannah. If you might be thinking, Ben, how did the form pick up so quickly? I am Formation Man! There we are. That's the, probably one of the shittest superheroes in the world. But yeah, I'll show you what happened. So this is what we went for against Crystal Palace. We, we continued with the isometric. I mean, looking at it there, it looks like a bloody mess, doesn't it? Like, nobody knows what they're doing. So yeah, I've been that now. We then went into a nothing game against Leon and played this. 3-1... 4-2, different from what you've seen before. So, I mean, at least it was different. Don't even know why I played it. I should say, they scored in the 94th minute. So, annoying. And then we changed things round. The first uh, game was against Stoke, a 1-0 win. Admittedly, not a, not a pounding, but this is the formation we, we used. Yep. And I figured we'd just use it again in this Hanover. And again, a 1-0 win. Two 1-0 wins on the spin. So, today, Burnley, Manchester United. Guess what the formation's going to be? If you predicted this, you won. Because that, yeah, we're going to play this against them. I know what you're thinking. What the f is that? Yes, and you're right to think that. I'm not entirely sure why it works yet, but we're discovering together, I've decided. Uh, Marky Parkin goal, three at the back. Vidal sits as a regista, just in front. One of his more natural positions, I should add. Uh, Navarro on the right-hand side because of an injury to Peter. Barry on the left. And, and also Navarro is slightly more defensive, and Barry does quite a good defensive job already. Uh, Ryan Gould, Peter Phillips, in behind a front two of Igor and Sandoval. I guess we'll see how it goes. Instructions for the tactic uh, go as this. A lot more closing down. High pressing. It's like playing the Klopp style, but with loads more midfielders and attackers. Uh, Roam from positions, because I don't want us to just stay in a very rigid this formation. If we stayed in this formation the whole game, we would lose. But if, if the midfielders, especially the, the two, uh, two attacking playmakers or the advanced midfielders, if they move around a lot, get a little bit more space, then that would be good for me. And uh, I'm hoping it will be progressive. Exploit the middle, obviously. And, uh, yeah, let's go into the game against Burnley and see how we do. Burnley and Manchester United, I'll say, the games today currently sit in 4th and 5th. We're down in a lowly 14th. Disgraceful. But we are through in the Europa League and the draw for that comes at the end of the episode. Right, they're playing a 4-4-2, which is very obvious, very predictable. And I should say, uh, that's what Stoke played, I think. And we beat them. So, here we go. Ignore the critics. Just go out there and enjoy yourselves. Mm, didn't work as well as I'd hoped. Update on Brian. Still yet to play a game. Will he ever play one? We'll have to wait and see. Okay, then. Let's see how we get on. Uh, it's Burnley versus Salford. It's 14th versus 5th. What a battle this is set to be. Now, as I say, the formation worked twice. Now turn the cameras on. So... I'm expecting a 3-0 defeat in fewer to go. What are you doing? I don't think you're taking this seriously. Okay, Dad. 25 minutes gone, and uh, shouldn't have said anything. Shouldn't have said a single word. I didn't even know the highlight was coming. Pusinic on the edge of the box, shot on goal. Well wide, and uh, Humphreys clears. Now, I had been going attacking with it, especially in second halves, to apply more pressure. I mean, if they score, we're going to do that anyway. As they come forward again, uh, ball into Guerrero in, in the middle. Ball across, Frank Howes with a good header clear. And... I mean, close it down, Sané, on this right side. Great tackle by Erdem. And now, can they handle the four-pronged attack? It, no, well, yeah, they can. They can. Is Jack Grealish playing in the centre? Is that the? Is that Jack Grealish? Seems weird, doesn't it? Left side. Ball's going to be put in. I'm nervous. Navarro was there. It's deflected in. Now, I can't, I can't compensate for a deflected goal. Let's see if it is deflected in. I think it was. I think it nicks off of the leg of a defender, which is not ideal. You can see it on this left side. It's put in, and then when the shot comes in, I think it deflects off number two's knee. Yes, definitely. I mean, we'll just assume. All right, we go 1-0 down. Against, uh, uh, to be fair, Burnley are quite... Oh, no. Ball played in. Guerrero, back post. Hits the bar again, well over. Um, and a header back in. Parky with the save. Second half, we're going to attack. We're going to stick with the formation... 
but we're going to get at them a bit more at half time. We're going to go attacking. I, did you know that? I told you. Okay, second half. New me, new team, new attitude, fresh approach. Let's do this. So far, though, not really been in it. But is this a game we're expected to win anyway? Burnley up there. So, ah, Ryan Gould, ball in. Humphreys, saved. I got very excited about Humphreys' header. If this ends up as a counter attack, they're, they're, they're playing on from the catch. Like, no, no way. I will not be happy. Number eight, Storms in. Pusinic, good block. Barry's there. Maybe it's a counter to the counter. Igor. Oh, do you know what it actually could be? And the four-pronged attack sets off. Oh, it, why does he tackle it every time? Gould now, though, with, with options. Peter Phillips. Oh, my good grief. If he tried to hit that wide, he would have struggled. Blimey. Sandoval, got it now. Into Gould. Igor. Oh, look at this. The four-piece working together. For God damn it. Corner kick, goal to put it in. Just over half an hour remaining. We've certainly asserted ourselves a lot better in the second half. Since we're going attacking, we've certainly put pedal to the metal. But it's annoying. I should say we beat Stoke. Stoke below us in the league, so they must be bad. Because this season, we are dreadful. <laughs> really, honestly, we are really bad. It's not like it's not funny. Okay, 15 minutes to go. I should probably change it. Rosser and Friends is going to come on. Uh, Kendall Peters is going to come on as well. And we're going to put Igor in as a target man instead. It'll be fine there. It's fine. It's absolutely fine. Peter Phillips, advanced playmaker. Ryan Gould's going to come off for Dazelle, which is apparently how you say his name, not Dozel, which sounds like he's asleep. Burnley on the attack. That's just how it works. Humphreys clears it. Peter Phillips out to Kendall Peters. And could the break happen now? Eagle. Kendall Peters has got lots of... Oh! I was going to say he's got lots of legs to run with, but he... Uh. Alex, forward to Amati. Out to Sané on this left-hand side. Ball into the middle. Carl Carlinos. Carlinos, I think, is actually very good. Let me just have a quick look at him. Okay, he's okay. He's not very good. <sighs> I hate that this happens. This makes me look so stupid. Ah, well, I mean, it's still it's still 1-0. As far as we can tell, still 1-0. So, I mean, it says his name there. Could be It could have been sent off, for all we know. Difficult to tell. How does that happen? Why does that happen? We're going to lose here. We're going to lose. I mean, there's a minute left. A goal now just makes it worse for me. In fact, no, sorry. A goal now equalises. My mistake. We play United after this as well. Uh, okay, five seconds left to go, and um, at this point, I look pretty stupid. So let's just forget this. Next game. I'm sticking with the formation, though. It will work until next episode where it's a different formation. I am Formation Man! <laughs> Again, still a shit superhero. What would be a superpower? If formation. Okay, that's a good question. Qu question of the day. Do -do 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 -do. Question of the day. If you could give a superpower to Formation Man, what would it be? The best answer. I've been thinking about this actually. I should do best comment of the day. I should always do best. I should, and then I'll reply with the, to the comment best comment of the day. I think that should be a thing. So, what would be the superpower for Formation Man? I mean, if anyone wants to send me a drawing of Formation Man, then. Twitter. Okay, welcome back. Game two. Uh, slight change. Jao Paulo, Frank Kauza, and Kovacs will be the back line. I think with that back line, we're probably going to win. Everything else, if I just change this to that, remains the same. I, I feel I feel better against the game against Manchester United than I did against Burnley, weirdly. Jeff Thomas also comes in on that right-hand side as he's a little bit more natural. In fact, Peter Phillips, advanced playmaker, because he's a little bit more natural. Let's do this. This formation will work. I haven't got a name for it yet, but it will work. They're playing a 4-4-2. Beatable. Jim Williams in goal unbeatable okay come on we need it we, for our own safety we need a win here otherwise we're going to be dragged into a relegation battle which i was not expecting considering we finished sixth last season or seventh or sixth because we finished sixth or seventh last season it was a long time ago believe me this has been a long season the europa league is like a school trip you didn't want to go on it's like you know you go to some school trips you go yeah love to go there that's the champions league some school trips you didn't fancy that's the europa league but as a liverpool fan for some reason i'm bloody loving the europa league right now so you know yanazai left side ball in kooky park <sighs> penalty to manchester united because kovacs is an idiot kooky steps up Kukic scores. Brilliant news. <sighs> Cannot be bothered with this shit anymore. Yep, great penalty, mate, honestly. Marky Parky, if you stand behind the line, you ain't gonna save it. Alright, we're going counter because something's gotta work at some point. Last season it was all, will we get a positive goal difference? Won't we? This season, no questions. I don't know if you can sense it, but there's some easy Evo Stick Northern Premier coming back into me here. I'm getting very angry. It's like the early days where things were not going well. Martial, is it my fault? That's what we've got to ask. Is this my fault? Do we just, I mean, there's so many things I could do to fix this. Okay, fine. I've, I've bought, I've, uh, how long's gone? 42 minutes. Gold, get off. Diamond. Formation man. Bloody hell. 
I mean, what is formation? Like, if, if Formation Man did have a power, what would it be? Losing badly with random formations. That's not a great superpower, is it? He wouldn't make it into the Avengers with that, would he? No, no, he would not. He appears on your team. It's like, we get, we get him, do we? We get Formation Man. Oh, God. Looking around at his other team going, hang on, I've got Spider-Man. He's got Formation Man. This is bollocks Diego Vidal is well he's, he's knackered isn't he but he's having the best game on the pitch so I don't know what to do what a catch 22 that is do I take off my best player or do I leave him out there to get injured I mean so many options we're going to bring Daniel Phillips on libero libero attack I think that's I've never tried this <laughs> formation let's die honestly I've killed it within one episode this could have been something that could have gone on for weeks but no no I've destroyed it Unless, of course, you come up with some good ideas for superpowers, and then I can integrate those into today, tomorrow, future videos. Time is not a superpower, a formation man. I think I'm deciding I am formation man. Not anymore, though. Not formation man now, but all of a sudden, formation. I'm not the reverse Clark Kent without all the strong stuff. At this point, it has been a strange episode. I would agree. Okay, I don't think... I'm just... I'm going to put this out there. I don't think we're going to get back in this. Um, we're playing very deep for a team that are losing 2-0 i notice come on libero do you do your oh, do some nasty work now if they score here when i've got seven men pinned on the like in the penalty area marky parky with a good save five minutes to go it's been quite an even game and i think that makes it worse at least the europa league draw is coming up i mean at least there's something to look forward to here if van Kauser gets it i mean i know this is over so i mean it was sitting here Watching the passing of Manchester United, yeah, well, hey, brilliant, yeah, great. I mean, I'm, I'm an idiot. I've gone three formations today, none have worked. That bit at the start, and I was like, oh, this formation's the, the tonic. It's not, it's not the tonic. It worked for two games because it was so unexpected. They couldn't scout that. That's why it works. I mean, how how do you scout me right now? Walk into the walk into the office. He's going to play. I, we don't know. We don't know what he's going to play. Also, Sandoval hasn't scored in 10 games, which, I mean, that is a problem. Squad unhappy with treatment of Ross from Friends. I bet this is Chandler. It's not, but they're all disappointed. He needs to earn his place. Not everyone agrees with that. Ah. Morale's not good. Morale is not good. Vidal wants to discuss his future. Um, What will it take to keep you here? You want to play in the Champions League? Give me a minute. I'm bringing some very exciting targets. Sure. I'm afraid I don't think realistic... Ah, we've got problems. I'll sort out a replacement. You get, Look, I'll let you go as soon as possible. I'm lying to try and make him happy. Oh, that's all, all the draws. FA Cup third round. We'll just do this quickly. We've got... Boom. Uh, Southampton at home. I mean, it's not easy, is it? That's literally one of my routes to get back into the Europa League at this stage. Okay, Europa League. First round, or first knockout round stage. Uh, we're probably going to get a team that came down from that. Have we seen some of the teams in here? Bayern Munich. Like, what's happened? Okay, this is going to go really badly for me. I'm going to look at you. You all know before me, which is rare. Okay, this is us. Let's see how we do. Bang. Olympiacos. Do you know what? Out of all the teams we could have got, we'll take that. Stoke, Napoli, QPR, Ajax. Some big games there. Celtic, Roma. Uh, who did Bayern Munich get in the end? Bayern Munich got Anderlecht. Poor Anderlecht. Uh, so, it's going to be difficult to win this competition now that Bayern Munich have decided to enter it. Uh, yeah, their goalkeeper, for those that don't remember, is... Yuri Vorapev. Parma fans, remember him well. Right then, that does bring us to the end of today's episode. If you've enjoyed it, please smash a like on it if you want to see more. Subscribe to the channel and from me to Twenty. Until next time, I will love with care. I'll see you again soon. Goodbye. Formation, man. What was I thinking?